Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Candy Monium Studios, and today I am gonna be ranking all of the coasters from Knobles from worst to best. So, Knobles is an amusement park in the middle of nowhere, Elysburg, Pennsylvania, and what makes it so unique is the coasters it has to offer. You should definitely go check out that amusement park as it is a really good amusement park, which is also my home park. Now, what makes an amusement park really good is to have a coaster for all ages. However, even though this coaster is ranked last because it's a kiddie coaster, I find this kiddie coaster called Cosmos Curves to be a pretty bad coaster. It is really rough and janky the whole ride, and I really just don't think kids would necessarily enjoy it. And I think there are better kitty coasters for kids to enjoy although this kitty coaster is comfortable for kids to ride i just don't think it's the best ride experience for kids at number five is black diamond it's an indoor mine train and it's also an indoor coaster there are a few drops in the ride however they are trimmed because it isn't really meant to be for a coaster experience it's more so for, um, what I would call it, a dark ride, and pretty interesting because all of the, there's a lot of animatronics on it, and also, I think it's really fun for the families to enjoy. So, that's why it's number five at my list. Now, going on the list, we have number four, which is Twister at Knobles. Twister is a pretty good roller coaster. It has it offers lots of laterals and if you're in the front row after the first drop, there is an airtime moment that you just float out of your seat, but airtime isn't the main focus on this ride as airtime is a main focus on one of the rides on this list. But this ride is known to get potentially rough, but I think it's I think it adds on to the ride experience, so that's why I enjoy it. At number 3, we have a pretty unusual coaster on this list. It is a wooden bobsled coaster named Flying Turns. Flying Turns is not really intense at all, but it's meant to be just pure fun. Flying down, sledding on the wood as you go. There are steel bobsled coasters out there, but there aren't wooden bobsleds, which is which makes this coaster really unusual. But it is really fun. I definitely recommend it for people who question this. The only thing is, it has a maximum capacity of 400 pounds, so keep an eye on that as you ride. At number 2, we got Impulse. Impulse is a Zier Tower coaster. Most of the towers that have a vertical drop are all built by Gerslauer, but this one is actually pretty fun, and it's by Zier. Zier actually makes mostly family coasters, and I find this coaster to be really smooth. Also, it has four inversions, which is really good, especially the last one, which is a zero-G roll, and it provides hang time coming out of the inversion, which is really fun. I definitely would ride this ride, Later in the day, not when you first get there, because the lines are long, because it's at the... Now talk about airtime, as I said earlier in the video. This is the ride for airtime, which is Phoenix. This ride is amazing when it comes to airtime. Airtime, you literally go flying out of your seat, and you almost stand up. The airtime is so amazing, because of the buzz bar restraints. The buzz bar restraints don't even touch you. That's how amazing this ride is. Ride it for yourself if you have never ridden this ride. Because this ride is really fun. And it's truly a blast. So that's why I put this ride at number one. Thank you all for watching this video. Now I know this is a rather short video. But Kenobo is only at six coasters compared to Hershey which is 14. But... Thank you all for watching this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell for more uploads. 
as I will be uploading more frequently because now I know how to do commentary videos and stuff like that. But as I said, see you all next time and enjoy your experience at Knobles.